How to make soy milk easily at home. A step-by-step -step guide. Making soy milk at home is an easy and cost-effective way to enjoy fresh, nutritious soy milk. With just a few ingredients and simple steps, you can create this delicious plant-based milk right in your kitchen. Here's how. Ingredients. 1 cup of dried soybeans. 4 cups of water. For soaking. 5 to 6 cups of water. For blending. Sweeteners or flavorings. Optional sugar, vanilla, or dates. Instructions. Step 1. Soak the soybeans. Begin by rinsing one cup of dried soybeans under running water to remove any dirt or impurities. Place the soybeans in a bowl and cover them with four cups of water. Let them soak for at least eight hours or overnight. This softens the beans, making them easier to blend. Step 2. Drain and rinse the soybeans. After soaking, drain the soybeans and rinse them thoroughly with fresh water. The beans should have swelled in size. Step 3. Blend the soybeans. Transfer the soaked soybeans into a blender. Add about 5 to 6 cups of fresh water to the blender. Blend the soybeans on high speed for about 2 to 3 minutes until you get a smooth, milky consistency. If your blender is small, you may need to do this in batches. Step 4. Strain the soy milk. To separate the milk from the soybean pulp, okara, strain the blended mixture using a cheesecloth, nut milk bag, or a fine mesh strainer. Gather the cheesecloth around the pulp and squeeze out as much milk as possible into a pot or bowl. Step 5. Boil the soy milk. Pour the strained soy milk into a pot and bring it to a gentle boil over medium heat. Stir frequently to prevent the milk from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. This cooking step helps eliminate the raw bean flavor. Step 6. Add flavorings, optional. If you want to sweeten or flavor your soy milk, you can add ingredients like sugar, vanilla extract, or dates while the milk is simmering. Adjust the sweetness according to your preference. Step 7. Cool and store. After boiling, Allow the soy milk to cool down. Transfer the cooled soy milk into a clean bottle or jar and refrigerate. Homemade soy milk typically lasts for three to five days in the fridge. Tips for best results. Use organic soybeans for the freshest and healthiest results. You can save the leftover soybean pulp, okara, for use in other recipes like baking or as a protein-rich addition to smoothies. If you prefer thicker soy milk, you can reduce the amount of water during blending. Now, you've got fresh, homemade soy milk ready to enjoy. Whether you drink it on its own, use it in recipes, or add it to coffee or cereal, this DIY soy milk is a great alternative to store-bought versions.